All right, we're here in Park Slope, Brooklyn, talking to Dr. Justin Bazan, and uh, we're talking about social networking. Now, the internet is often thought of as a global tool that connects the whole world, but you've used the internet to really connect you with the neighborhood right here, is that right? Correct. Um, the social networking that we have done here has been focusing on building a community of Park Slope advocates trying to create low advocates of the practice and within the community that we live in. So we've tried to embrace more of the local and Park Slope um, scene through the social use of social media. Mm -hmm. You live here in the community too. Can you tell me something about the neighborhood as you see it, the kind of people you encounter on the street? Um, Park Slope is one of the most wonderful neighborhoods in, uh, I guess in the States. We are actually voted number one neighborhood in all of New York City. Um, it's just a very, very, uh, community that's built on supporting local businesses. Um, the people here um, tend to be young professionals, very actively involved in the community. Um, they care a lot about uh, their community and they're going to um, support the businesses that they want here and, and build a community based on um, businesses like that. Mm -hmm. Well, when social network uh, comes into play, the idea that people are interested in interacting with you online, how does that play out for an optometric practice? What, what are the benefits of that? Is it, uh, do people really want to talk to you all the time? And what do you offer them? We would, we would like to hope so. Um, you have to, people don't inherently care, so you have to create a sense of care. And our social media has done that successfully. So within our patient population, we have created a sense of caring and engagement that does bring them to our social media sites regularly. Um, so, typical practices, you're going to see a patient once a year, maybe you'll get in front of them a couple other opportunities, but we actually have patients um, seeking us out on a frequent basis through the use of our social media. So we're in front of them much more often, they're engaged with us frequently, we're engaging with them frequently. So it creates a strong bond of loyalty. Mm -hmm. Can you give some examples of how you stay top of mind with the community, with other organizations or events that, uh, that you take part in so that somebody shopping up the street or pushing a baby carriage might be reminded of the opportunities here? Sure. Um, one of the things we do is we use social media as a broadcast platform for the activities that we do in the office and in the community. Um, so today we're hosting an event for young mothers that we will put out there through our social network. And we're also being um, put out through that social network as well. So we're in front of all these people because of the events that we're doing here in the office. So it's being rebroadcast to many different people other than just our local uh, Park Slope Eye patients. It's out in the community in general. So you're making a connection with people who coming here who may be patients, may be future patients, may be reminded of the, uh, the need to have an eye, a healthy eye exam on a regular basis, how to get that message out without seeming overly self-serving. Indeed. Um, we like to be involved in the community and social media gives us a broadcast station to just put that information out there. Um, one of the things that we also do with social media is we engage with businesses who also have strong social platforms. Um, for example, a restaurant down the street um, will have us uh, engaged in a conversation. They might say, um, when we notice people can't see the rest of the menu, we send them right over to Park Slope by. So we get good business-to-business -business, um, ties established. So now I'm in front of that restaurant's fan base, that restaurant's social networking, and now all those people who weren't necessarily aware of Park Slope Eye are. So it's a great B2B or business-to-business -business, uh, modality as well, too. Yeah, I guess in the old days you joined the Chamber of Commerce, the Lions Club, or the uh, Better Business Bureau or something, and, and you became engaged with other uh, companies or other businesses and other practices in the area. This is a new take on that, an update on that? Yeah, the um, typical Chamber of Commerce is going to get you one-to-one um, -one, uh, conversation, whereas the social networking is going to get you one-to-many. So if I just put something on that business's wall, I'm in front of all their followers. So instead of just being talking to that boss of that business, now I'm talking to all their fan base as well, too. And the local businesses around here are averaging over a thousand followers and fans and people who support their social networking. So we're in front of a lot of people with a lot of frequency. Uh -huh. Have you, uh, has that brought in other business owners uh, to your practice here? Definitely. Um, we've been approached and we approach other business owners on doing kind of cross promotional things as well too. Um, everybody loves chocolate, everybody loves ice cream. So two of the businesses that we partnered with early on are a chocolate um, purveyor and also an ice cream purveyor. Um, and that has been working very well for us. Yeah, you
Great. Well, let's go to some of the practical things. What are some of the websites or some of the uh, social network sites that have really worked for you? Everybody knows Facebook. Uh, tell me about that and tell me about your presence on some, some of the other opportunities. So, there's certain things that you can accomplish with social networking. Um, you have to kind of identify a strategy. Our Facebook strategy is to build um, loyalty. So we try to put out things that engage our fans and create an awareness of how we're trying to build loyal connections and support our patients and support our community. Um, so the content that we're putting out there is, is all geared towards creating that sense of loyalty to Park Slope Eye and to and us back to the community. Um, so Facebook is something that has been around since we started our business two years ago and it has grown and, and really taken off and now we're approaching um, I think 850 something fans. So those 850 fans that we're in front of with some consistency are also have their own social networks too. So anytime they engage us, they're um, rebroadcasting it to their social network too. So that 850 number can be estimated um, you know, in a, on a, mag a scale that's much greater than that. So the magnitude that you're reaching um, on a regular basis is incredible. So what are some of the messages that you send out? Are you talking about healthy eye exams? Are you talking about... Uh... So we, if you look at the, um, our, our post, they, they all um, tend to have similar themes. So the post that we did yesterday was um, utilizing uh, a company, uh, Cooper Vision's promotion on how to get your team $2,500 worth of gear. So we said, you know what, that's a great way for our community to benefit from this company's large